just considering, you know, you've got some young guys on this team making their first opening day roster, they've come out and they fit right in. What do you think is kind of just the key that allows them to be so successful in these situations and not that these moments are too big for them? Um, well, I, I think it uh, certainly a lot of it has to do with uh, the makeup of the players. Uh, but I also think that kind of the environment, uh, these are homegrown guys that have come up through the system and uh, trying to pride ourselves on continuity, player development, Major League Baseball, um, certain messaging. And so when they get here, you know, you'd like to think it's an environment that is welcoming for all players, especially, you know, young players. So uh, I think that we've done a really good job of letting these guys, new or, or young players coming up, feeling comfortable and uh, gives them the best chance to have success. What are your overall takeaways? It's only been one game, but just considering the success you guys had offensively yesterday, what are your takeaways from that? I, I think it's just a it's just a, a little small sample of what potentially we can do uh, against a quality major league starter. And um, I just really like the at-bat quality. There's a lot of at-bats in that game that I felt uh, dictated the outcome. And uh, that's kind of the ability I think we have. How much was Altman's walk one of those? Uh, Altman's walk uh, was one of them. Uh, Miguel Rojas is uh, double the other way. Uh, Will Smith running a count and uh, getting a two out hit was another one. So those are things front of mind um, that I think flipped the game. It seems like even though they're young guys like Vargas and Altman don't really chase outside the strike zone a whole lot, how much does that sort of help raise the floor of like what they can be early on, especially as they're getting their feet wet? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a combo of being disciplined in the strike zone, but also uh, when you do have opportunities that are balls that are in the strike zone, uh, to move it forward. And um, the bat to ball with Rojas, Vargas, um, and I, I really believe even Outman, um, it's, uh, it's something that we're going to need to continue to do and something I think is going to be unique to this offense versus teams that we've had in the past. Were you consciously, you guys, trying to go the other way against Zach? Uh, no, no, not necessarily. I, I think that each hitter, um, I think that they made their individual adjustments. I think yesterday the plan was to stay away from Will, and uh, he took what they gave him. I think uh, JD, the same thing. Um, I think Rojas, uh, you know, with the starter, I think that was a plan. He got the head out on a fastball late. Uh, same with Outman, uh, with the pull double. But I think just the idea of taking what they give you is kind of a good rule of thumb as an offense. Same, same order as yesterday. These nine kind of ones that you like against right is your stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's probably, you know, I like this lineup against right. Um, we're going to get make sure Jay Hay gets a start at some point soon. Um, tomorrow you'll see a different lineup in the sense of uh, Austin will be in there, Will won't be playing. We'll get a couple of the right-handed bats in there. Did you guys have to run a whole lot early on in the season, or is that just a feeling out process with the new rules? Uh, I, I still think it boils down to personnel. Um, that guy behind the plate is a, has a plus arm. And so I'm still not in the business of running into outs, regardless of how big the bases are. Um, we just don't have the burners, the prototype base dealers, so I'm not going to run just to run. What did you see from Dustin May uh, this spring, and what do you see for his approach to this season, just being back and being fully healthy? Um, well, it's good to see him fully healthy. Um, I, I think the thing I, I saw was a consistent delivery with Dustin, uh, a consistent demeanor uh, as far as kind of the emotions. Uh, certainly expect a ramp up of that given it's the regular season. Um, and I don't want to take away the emotions from him because he's an emotional guy and that's what makes him tick and, and he feeds off that. Uh, but I do think that there's been a, a concerted effort in trying to manage him a little bit better. If, if both your catchers are healthy, do you see Austin getting the majority of plays and starts again? Uh, no, not necessarily. I think that right now, uh, I didn't want 
Will to catch three in a row out of the gate because he hasn't done that since last year. Um, so that's one part of it. Um, if it lines up with Clayton and their familiarity, that's great. Um, but it's not something I'm trying to, you know, uh, trying to just make happen because of their familiarity. I think Will uh, and Clayton have a great rapport as well. And is it harder to take Will out of the lineup maybe this year, just given the, the length, uh, even if that means giving him a DH day more often than he did a year ago? Well, um, I'm not going to be giving him DH days as much as we did last year uh, because JD is the DH, so that's one part of it. Uh, to your question about getting Will out of the lineup, absolutely it's hard to get Will out of the lineup. Um, but understanding we've got to keep him sharp, fresh, and also Austin needs to play too, and I feel very good with him behind the plate too. Doc, uh, of all the new rules, it seems to me that the two throws over to first have had the least impact. It doesn't seem to be a big deal at all. Am I right? How do you feel about it? Um, I, I think we got to wait and see. Um, I, I think that Zach Gallen does a really good job of holding guys on. So he's the only guy last night that threw over twice. Uh, and then once he did throw over, he was a lot quicker to the plate. So um, again, it still has to make sense. So I think we'll know more as time kind of goes on. David, yeah, we talked about the pitch clock yesterday. What about the effect on the fielders? Do you think the fielders are more engaged in this situation? I do. I, I do. I, I think, uh, you know, the great thing about baseball is that the you know, the time in between plays, the reset, but that's also can be detrimental as far as viewership. Um, so now when it's kind of more, the pace of play is better, certainly players have to be more engaged because it's happening kind of in real time really quickly, yeah. Hey, last, night, last night, Christian Walker after the game mentioned the momentum, and that anything you guys were going a little bit, and JT was really mad at a bad morning against them. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do think that, uh, you know, momentum is real, in my opinion. Um, and because you can't stop momentum with uh, slowing down and at bat, uh, you have five visits as far as the mound visits. I think those will come into play more and you got to use those. Um, as games get tense late in the game, um, later in the season, uh, it's going to really show itself because you can't stop the momentum because the, the clock is uh, uh, is not allowing that. Are there guys who might have a tougher time with this than others? Yeah, I think so. I, I think that's sort of uh, with anything. Um, some guys uh, are having a harder time adjusting position players versus uh, the pitchers. Um, but the thing I like about it is it's kind of the rule and you've got to kind of adhere. And so uh, I think for the most part, our guys have done a great job and I can't actually find one guy that I think is really struggling with uh, making this adjustment, which is a good thing for us. How's Tony doing? Tony's doing well. Uh, it came out of yesterday's pen really well. Did some sprint work today. Uh, he's going to throw a bullpen here on Sunday. Uh, and then at that point in time, uh, he'll throw to hitters uh, on Wednesday in Arizona at uh, CBR. How many starts are you thinking uh, Michael Grove is in line for here? Uh, I, I don't, I don't know the answer. Some of it has to do, uh, you know, certainly with uh, performance. Some of it has to do with, uh, you know, the roster and where we're at with that. Uh, but I think a couple two to three starts at the floor is, is pretty safe. How long was Tony's pen yesterday? Um, I don't know the exact uh, pitch, but I would say somewhere around 30 pitches is probably fair. Do you, do you have a scouting report on Eric Tony's pitch yesterday? Uh, it was uh, right on the black. I think the catcher caught it really well. Um, he has good spin, and it was probably about uh, 70 miles an hour, but I still think Eric can touch 90 if he needed to, which is crazy. How are you at Fran? Uh, on that one particular pitch, I think pretty good. I, I think I bought us bought a strike. There's only one cat catcher who crouched yesterday during that. I know, I didn't want to bring, I didn't want to bring that to light. <laughs> 